Leaves contain chlorophyll, an organic substance that taps on sunlight to turn water into hydrogen and oxygen in a process known as photosynthesis. And scientists at NTU want to develop an artificial leaf technology to harvest more hydrogen. The leaf has chlorophyll and it has a lot of protein molecules and so on. And they may not be stable in, 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 in an artificial system. So one important research is to find the right stable components that can work in a technological uh, system, in a technological uh, machinery. This new solar fuels laboratory at NTU aims to extract hydrogen fuel using solar energy. And instead of conventional solar cell, this lab is testing if cheap substances like rust and titanium dioxide can efficiently capture solar energy to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. Such extraction technology is available now, and scientists want to go one step further to develop a cheaper method of extracting hydrogen from water. We can do this reaction right now, it's no problem. We can use platinum and we can use very expensive semiconductors. The challenge is to devise a technology which is cheap and made of, is robust and made of cheap materials. Professor James Barber is one of the few world-class experts to work on the project, which comprises a dozen researchers from NTU. NTU plans to deliver the prototype in three to five years. And in time, it hopes that such a technology could make it more commercially viable for hydrogen-powered vehicles to run on the road.